Hello and welcome to Media Cafe Travel. Be sure to subscribe at the red button below or on the bottom right hand corner of this video. Today, we're going to show you the Palazzo Prestige Experience. The Palazzo Hotel and Casino is the sister hotel to the Venetian. And there is an Italian and elegant theme going on in both the Palazzo as well as the Venetian. The rooms are great but there is also a premium experience that can be had that they call Prestige, which gives guests access to an exclusive lounge in addition to their room. So we are actually going to show you around that lounge as well as the resort and also a room tour of the King at the Palazzo. So take a look. There, here is some of the exterior of the Palazzo. Here's a beautiful fountain outside the Palazzo. Uh, near the entrance. Uh, this is actually um, going into the Palazzo. You're going to see that they do have valet parking. They've had valet parking even during the lockdown for the most part. And you pick your car up on the bottom floor. This is where you would drop it off at the valet. But here's the entrance to the Palazzo. And we are going to show you inside. Uh, we're going to do a room tour. We're also going to do a lounge tour. Here is the lobby of the Palazzo. Now, what we are also going to show you is prestige rooms. Even though the rooms are are fairly similar in, in most every way, there is uh, a number of floors that are prestige floors and not, you know, not every room is eligible to be a prestige room. Now, the rooms are very similar layouts, but the rooms themselves are restricted to certain floors for prestige and then uh, there is a area that you can check in if you have booked prestige now we just showed you the front desk of the palazzo where most guests would check in and they do have an invited guest section as well as regular check-in and they do have several banks of elevators because it is a large property uh, the palazzo is actually the second tallest building in las vegas at 50 floors so uh, certainly a huge place, but here is the Prestige elevator button. Uh, the Prestige lounge is located on the 23rd floor. Any of the elevators actually gets you to the Prestige lounge level, uh, but uh, again, the Prestige rooms are uh, included in only a couple of the floors at Bellagio. But again, this is an area outside of the main lobby uh, where Prestige guests can check in. And so we're going to see that pretty quickly. And then uh, then after that, we're going to take you to the room tour. So you can take a look at what the rooms look like. But here you see, getting off on the 23rd floor, uh, the prestige floor. Uh, all the elevators, all the elevator banks, of course, can get you there. But uh, this is the way to get to the check-in area which is right before you get to the lounge so we're going to check out the lounge a little bit later but i wanted to show you the check-in area first and then we'll get to the room tour but this this is shows the lounge hours uh the lounge is open 7 a.m to 8 p.m they do have breakfast they serve cocktails as well this has been a little bit limited and and the prestige actually has only recently opened um it had not been opened uh, during a lot of the time when there were restrictions. So that's one thing to keep in mind. It did reopen, but it is a little bit more limited than it had been in the past. And so uh, we've stayed in the prestige in the past as well. And it's been even, even better, uh, actually. But they are bringing it back and there are some great things. And we're going to show you that a little bit later. But first, let's check out the room.
So let's talk a little bit about the Palazzo King Suite. You're seeing some of it already, but it's 720 square foot. Uh, they do have uh, his and hers sinks in the bathroom. Uh, they have uh, the vanity mirror. Uh, they have a television in the bathroom. Double sink vanity in the bathroom as well. You're checking out right now, but you see the remote for the television that is also available in the bathroom. Uh, in the living area, you saw a little bit about that. The L-shaped, full-size sofa sleeper in some of the rooms. Sometimes it's just a sofa. Sometimes it is a sofa sleeper. Uh, they do have an oversized coffee table, uh, dedicated work desk. Uh, there's the uh, in-suite safe that you saw in the in the closet. In the sunken living room, um, in a lot of cases, uh, again, the room itself, this is their standard room, and I always say, and I mean, you know, I haven't checked out every room in Vegas, but this is probably the best standard room in Vegas, the King Suite. Uh, they've got two large flat screen televisions as well, um, and again, this comes with the King bed. You can get it with the two beds, but this is a nice large King bed available in the suite. So. Very nice rooms, but again, we're talking about the Prestige Package. The Prestige Package has any of the rooms, so you can upgrade your suite experience for Prestige to uh, one of the other Venetian, I mean, sorry, Palazzo uh, suites that are available. Uh, so that can be done. The suites will be the same uh, floor plans and everything else. They are, again, exclusive on certain floors, but this is the Prestige uh, lounge and you can see that lounge hours but um, the prestige lounge is huge and it's open um, from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. and they do serve breakfast continental breakfasts in the morning uh, and they do have happy hour food available as well now you can see this is a very large space very convenient in terms of uh, a place to lounge and eat those large windows are fantastic and the Prestige Lounge, of course, offers a strip view. So you'll be looking out over the Treasure Island and, you know, going to the Mirage and then up the strip, uh, if you if you will. There's a piano here, and sometimes there is a piano player in the lounge. Uh, and then there is a bar area for cocktails that you can get. They also have waiters and waitresses that will come around and get your drink order if you like. But as you can see, here is the bar area, fully stocked bar uh, available to you. And this particular time, this particular time uh, was the afternoon happy hour. So this is the spread that they have available on the hap uh, happy hour. Uh, lots of hors d'oeuvres and some desserts, some really good desserts. Uh, the chicken skewers were really good. Uh, they also have a banana banana chocolate tarts, which are very good. Uh, and again, any kind of drink that you can get. Here's a banana chocolate tart, uh, certainly a favorite at happy hour. And these happy hour, again, is somewhat limited. It used to be um, hors d'oeuvres like this, but also they used to always have a special, one of the Venetian restaurants would be serving one of their dishes as a special. And that hasn't happened lately in terms of at least when we were there very recently so that is not the happy hour i suspect at some point they'll probably go back to that happy hour style uh, a little bit more expansive but obviously <clears throat> still covid precautions in effect so they want to make you aware of that but they give you all of the uh, amenities of the lounge uh in a letter when you check in so this is this is all available to you uh, all the you know, you know different hours for the lounge so you know exactly when the continental breakfast is being served when the happy hour is happening and again you can go to the lounge at any time during those hours but there's certain times which are going to be a little extra amenities going on uh, but again uh, you saw the view uh, here are some of the hors d'oeuvres that we collected from their little mini buffet there in the bar area uh, fantastic they were actually the, you know they were actually really good uh, good for a little slight snack in the in the early afternoon before uh, going out for a dinner and you know some desserts and again drinks available as well in the 
lounge. This is a great place to bring you know family to hang out. Uh, so you know if you're stay, you know bring a, a, a if you travel with more than one person, you don't want to go to each other's room. You can come down here and hang out in the lounge, uh, watch some sports, uh, watch some uh, news, uh, what have you. Here's here's some of the drinks: uh, pina colada and a and a rum and coke uh, for us at this particular time. Uh, again, a beautiful view, but. That is the Prestige Lounge. It's kind of icing on the cake for a luxury experience. Uh, again, here is the beautiful fountains outside of Palazzo. And we're going to talk a little bit about, we're going to show you some of the casino and then some of the restaurants uh, available in the Palazzo. And of course, uh, this is the sister hotel to Venetian. So they are all connected. Here is kind of off the main lobby and going toward the casino, uh, you can look at the escalator going up. That's going up to the Grand Canal shops where there's lots of shopping as well as lots of restaurants. There are over 40 restaurants between the Venetian and the Palazzo, but the Grand Canal shops has also got some fantastic shopping experience. But here is the casino. This is the Palazzo Casino side. On the left, you can see Electra, one of their fantastic bars that they have uh, some very um, interesting cocktails. Uh, very, it, it, It's a club vibe in the evening. Uh, it's very cool in the evening. This is during the daytime, so it was not as uh, much of a club vibe going uh, with it at the time, but you can see the very open layout of the Palazzo side. This is the poker room for Palazzo, you can see uh, the dividers are still up, but uh, the poker room uh, is open again, uh, and they definitely uh, have some activity at the poker room of the Palazzo, but it's fantastic. It's a great space. Here is one of the great restaurants on the main floor of Palazzo, the Marjo Domo, which is a fish and meat market. Lots of interesting uh, dishes and desserts there. This is a kind of a fast food place, the Moon Palace, where they do burgers, like small burgers, almost like Crystals or, or um, White Castle. Here's Mott 32, which is a fantastic uh, Chinese restaurant and certainly well regarded for sure. This is that's open late. Here you see some of the other uh, restaurants advertised in the common area. Here, this is one of the other entrances, Grand Lux Cafe, which uh, we have covered in another video, so hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Uh, Grand Lux Cafe is their late night dining option. There is one on the Venetian side, and there is one also on the Palazzo side. And so uh, Grand Lux is a tremendous, uh, tremendous restaurant, especially for late night dining. Uh, the kind of food, the quality of the food you can get late night is absolutely fantastic uh, at Grand Lux Cafe. So um, certainly, Highly recommended if you need a late night option. Uh, this this particular uh, is on the uh, Palazzo side, so uh, they at the time of this video they were open uh, partially, and the Venetian side was open the whole time. Here's Rosina, another restaurant um, choice that you have, and here are some of the uh, stores uh, that, that that are available. Hong Kong Cafe is a great restaurant. We will cover that in another video. Uh, but it is a fantastic restaurant right on the main floor of Palazzo. And certainly uh, something to be on the lookout for. Here's their famous in between uh, Palazzo and Venetian, the famous love sign with the waterfall. Uh, it's iconic uh, if you visited Vegas. Here, of course, are the gondolas. And you can get a singing gondola ride uh, at the Palazzo and the Venetian. Uh, but again, the Palazzo, fantastic. Second tallest building in in Nevada. Uh, fantastic rooms, fantastic dining options, fantastic gambling experience because of the open, the open layout uh, and the non-smoking side of the house uh, for Palazzo. So it, it, it's certainly a, a nice vibe in that sense. Uh, but Palazzo, Features some fine dining. We've covered some before, so uh, be sure to check out some of our other videos. You've seen some of the 
the fine dining that, that is in between Palazzo and Venetian, uh, like Expat uh, and Yardbird uh, and many of the others. And we're going to be covering more as we can. Uh, so stay tuned and be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode of Media Cafe Travel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.